All right, I'm live. Playing around with my lighting here. So we'll start the show off with a midweek live. Today's gonna be a cool day. I don't have much. Let me go back into um, regular filter here. I uh, don't have much of a growth. A couple days growth. So two days. But because of your requests, Sachin, Evan, Dan Hannon is back to back, back to back sessions. Mike Vance, Phoenix, Joey, what's up? What's up? And M. Jones, who was first. And Brad, J.M., what's up? What's up? So because you guys asked for it in the last show, Wayne Brain Row, I'm giving it, I'm giving you what you want. John McFunky Cole, John Medina is in the house. Jacketed cat. What's up, bro? So we're gonna be looking at the King C. Gillette Double Edge Razor and the Heritage Razor from Gillette. Dan Han is growing his beard. It's shaving time. Deli sandwiches. There you go. All right. So let's first go through them in sort of a chronological order. So I think it was a couple of Christmases ago. The King C. Gillette, or the Heritage Razor with the King C. Gillette logo on it, was released. It was like an Amazon release. Came in this nifty little case here. And the case to me screams like 1970, right? This nice little, I remember having something like this or having a lot of textured items like this, sort of a faux leather case. You've got the King C. Gillette logo or signature there. See that? Very, very nice. So this was released as like a holiday gift. Jimmy G, what's up, bruh? And it's cute. It's a like nice little gift. Inside, you've got the handle, which is a short sucker for marketing. You're right, Dan Hannon. The case screams sucker for marketing. And uh, it's short, very uh, cross-hatched, knurly. It's lighter than you would think. You've got a the rest of the kit, there's a two-piece head. And I believe this is an Edwin Jagger style head. Jimmy G's here, so he'll correct me. Two-piece or three-piece. Joey, what's up? Twist on. There you have it. But a nice little starter razor. Right, if you're getting into DE, if you like the nostalgia of it, came with the Gillette Platinum Blades in the kit. But today I'm gonna to be using the same blades. The handle is like a 1930s Gillette New De Razor. Yeah, there you go. But very, um, very light, but very nice and shiny. We're not going to be using the Platinum Blades today. We're going to be using the King C. Gillette Blades, King C. Gillette branded blades. But I believe Jimmy was telling me that these are Platinum Blades or Gillette Blue Blades, rebranded, maybe more expensive. But that's what we're using today. But very, very nice kit. It's definitely, if you're a sucker for marketing like me and Dan Hannon, you have to have one of these. And I have it. Use the platinum. You want me to use the platinum. Chris Nolan says use the platinum. I don't know if I have enough. Chris. Let me check. All right. I have two blades left. And I will use them. Two platinum blades. You ask and you receive on this channel. 
Hi. You ask and you shall receive on this channel. Let's go over the King C Gillette Double Edge Razor, guys. Now this comes in a beautiful 1920s kind of roaring 20s graphic. It has an elegant look to it, but it really reminds you of the 20s. And what Gillette was doing and is doing is they're reminding us people that they created the double-edged razor, that they're the masters of manscaping, the original ones. I, I, I would love you to send me more of those, Mr. Jimmy G. But beautifully crafted box, simple but very manly. You've got the navy blue, you've got the gold or rose gold label, and you've got the image of the the razor. This is marketed as to be used to trim your beard, but it's a double-edged razor and we're going to use it to shave today. All right. This to me, guys, is just a beautiful work of art. Very hefty, nice knurling, long handle, solid, very similar in terms of the head. but you have the King C logo on this that you don't have here. This is maybe three times as, as weighty as this razor. And look at the, the comparison in length. You've got another inch or so, but very similar head, if not the exact same head. So it's probably gonna give you a very similar shave we're using the same blades, but it will show you or show me the difference in weight, what weight does to a shave, as well as um, length. All right. So that's what we're shaving with today. If you are a sucker like me again, and Dan, Han Dan Hannon, you have to have this heritage razor. I'll leave a link in the description box below if they're still available on Amazon. I'm certainly sure you can get the new King C Gillette DE on Amazon. We're, we're returning to the double-edged scene. You're right. So I'll leave links below, guys, so you can check these out. But let's get right into the shave. Oh, let's get right into the shave. Let's load up our blades. When I take them out of the packaging, I don't know about you guys, I like to just rinse them off with a little bit of warm water. We'll load that Gillette Platinum Blade up on our Heritage Razor. You don't want to over tighten, but you want to make sure it's secure. So that's ready to rock and roll. We'll open up the other platinum blade. Just be mindful of the sharpness of these guys. Now, how many of you in the audience are DE shavers have used the double edge razor? in the past. You do. New York Diesel in Florida says he likes the Heritage better than the, the uh, King C. Gillette. Well, we'll see today. We'll see what I prefer. I'm, I'm biased going in, guys. From memory, I really enjoy the King C. Gillette, the longer handle, the more weighty of the device. But you know what? Diesel may be right. The diesel may be right. You love the new twig. I love the new twig too. In fact, the new twig almost changed my whole show. I, I'm almost decided to give up doing shaving reviews. 
Sean Farrington, what's up? So there we are. They're both loaded, locked and loaded, ready to go. You never tried them, James. So James, you're a cartridge man. Are you interested in trying a DE, James? Fine Lime, greetings back to you from New York. Matt says he uses the DE, but the cart a cartridge in a pinch. I won't give up, Dan Han. James, you gotta, you have to. Where are you located, James? What part of the world are you in, bro? Chris Nolan is a DE guy, but he loves the Mach Three. He's like me. Now, Jimmy G. New Zealand, okay. Jimmy G. A while back, Jimmy G sent me this nice brush from the body shop. Now I'm having my own brushes made, but I've been slow to the gun. I've been wasting time procrastinating. I've been talking to the beautiful people at FM Brush. They're ready to rock and roll. I have to get them done. So I've just been so busy. Guys, been really, really busy. But I have to do it because, first of all, Evan gets one of them. He's going to get one of them. The first one, Evan won it. And uh, secondly, I want to be able to send the love around. Okay. So, my boy, Jimmy G, also said I should use the Planet Kind Shaving Cream. This stuff is really nice. So, if you don't know about Planet Kind, it's the eco-friendly design of the containers, the ingredients. So, this container here is infinitely um, recyclable. So, it can be recycled over and over. It's a tin, some sort of a metal that can be used and recycled over and over the blades the cartridges the handle of the products all the products all the containers are mindful of the planet and the ingredients are pretty cool but this planet kind shave cream is really pretty cool it um not only is it slick and just great but it lathers up really nice even if you're a novice or a infrequent Latherer like me. So I'll be using that today. And as the pre-shave, which I'm going to start now, their Planet Kind face wash. So let's bubble it up. And let's get to going. Goldman B, what's up? He's got the, the body shop brush. All right, we're going to go with near hot water, guys. You know the drill. I've got shaving products all over the house. Shaving products all over the house. Only $7.99 at Target. Good bargain. That's true. And it's a good bargain. All right, guys. So I'm waiting for the hot water heater to cook in, to kick in. Here we go. Near hot water. I'll use this face wash. And guys, I did my third, or I started my third in a series of body wash-offs today. I used a really nice... Nivea Men body wash. And this sort of, sort of reminds me of that. The smell is very subtle. It's got a cucumber and citrusy smell to it. And I always like to start with a clean face when I'm shaving. Usually, if I'm not, you know, doing a video, I'll shave in the shower. But it's not that type of show, guys. So. That's very, very nice.
near hot water, guys. And now I'm gonna steam up. I'll steam up with some near hot water. This helps open the pores and get your face ready to receive the blade. Now, you don't wanna damage your skin with hot water. Although it's tempting to go hotter because it feels good, especially in the winter. Ah, that's nice. Very, very nice, guys. Don't we just love, the one thing about wet shaving, guys, is you're taking your time, you're lathering, right? You're washing your face. You're getting into the, the moment of the shave. There's something really nice about it. Because it's a, it's a deliberate action when you have a razor blade on your face. It's a deliberate action. So I'm gonna take a couple of swirls of this lather. I probably should use my lather bowl. I think the last time I did this though, I went just right on the face. Let's see if we can just lather right on the face. Uh, that smells good. Now right there, it's dry. I'll add a little bit of water. But you see how it just lathers up nice and quick, guys? Just good coverage. Add a little bit more water. And I like this brush because it's small. The knot is small. Sometimes you want to really paint the face and have the control. Sometimes you want a big knot, but I like this too. Variation. I'm a sucker for marketing, but see how you can really paint that face up and look at all the cream. With just a few swirls of this planet kind. And we'll put that on the side there. All right, I like to get interactive guys. Who wants which one first? First one that calls it, do we do the King C or the Heritage first? That's what she said. <laughs> Wayne is the comic relief of the channel. Heritage. Alex says Heritage, and we're going with the Heritage. All right, so let's go with our 30-degree angle. Approach the face, and we go with short strokes. Very, very nice. You got two sides of a double edge. You can choose to use them. Some folks only use one side. I don't know. You got two sides, you might as well use them. Oh, that's very, very nice. You hear the feedback, guys? I'm gonna shut up and let you hear the feedback dealing with a little bit of a neck issue. I don't know if I slept wrong or if me playing hoops lately has affected me, but it's been very difficult to to deal with like looking up or looking to the side for the last couple of days. So if I'm looking a little goofy,
Very nice. It's short for me. A little short, but we'll see. All right, I add a little bit of, just a little bit of near hot water on this side because I've let it sit for a bit. And we're gonna go back to this side with our King C Gillette double edge razor. Again, short strokes. I just feel like I have more control, guys. The length of it, the width of, or the weight of it. The one thing I will say is that with the Heritage Razor, I feel like I might have gotten a closer cut. Ah, but you hear the feedback. Flip that blade. And look at the weepers here. Look at that. The extension that I'm getting with the uh, King C is making it much easier for me to get to those spots. One pass in the books, guys. Let's go for pass number two. Again, near hot water, and I'm feeling around. Pretty comparable shave. Now, if I wasn't shaving three times a week, I might go for three passes. But again, guys, I'm just gonna go for two. I'm gonna pull out the brush I've already been using. There's more than enough lather or cream for a de decent shave, decent second pass. But look at how much coverage you get from that King C, or that Planet Kind rather, shaving cream. Designed with the novice shaver in mind. You don't need to be a pro to make a decent lather. Nice. Very nice. Look at all that cream left over. I may need it. We're gonna go back to the Heritage Razor. The Art of Shaving Shaving Cream. I have not. I've been in that store, really enjoy that store. This is our second pass. This is the against the grain pass. You know, I will say that you feel a sense of just more control with the heritage because of the shortness. Uh, 
of this handle. I will give it that. Take your time because you could cut yourself. And with the against grain pass, I really, really, I try to let the device do all the work. I try to do that anyway but it's very important guys. Back to the King C Gillette double edge razor. Just more confident to me guys. Gives me length, more length so I can position my hands a little different. It's not as, even though it's got more weight, it's not as tiresome on those fingers because you're spreading that, the weight of the device. There's more balance to it. So what you sacrifice may be in closeness, you gain in comfort. Very nice. Okay, down to the last couple of strokes. Clear winner to me, guys, is the King C. Gillette. This is the razor I would suggest you pick up if you're just getting into shaving with a DE. It's mild. Get the King C Gillette blades, which are very mild. If I wanted to do a, address the, the sensitive bits under the nose, I'll do a cross grain pass. A weeper action there. But all in all, pretty good. All right, let's clean up. It's bubble action. Here we go, cold water. Cold water and then we'll assess the damage. I tell you, let's go Jets. Jets are terrible, man. The Jets are terrible. Just end the season now. And the season hasn't even started. They're the worst team. I've been a Jets fan my whole life. They're terrible. They've always been terrible. <laughs> Ah, oh, guys. All right, let's take a look. I was dealing with a couple of weepers. A couple down here, a couple over here, but they seem to have corrected themselves. You know what I'll do? I'll go to the 
I'm gonna go to the cupboard and we'll pull out my favorite aftershave. A message from the Duke and it's getting down to the, to the short action. Little menthol action. That'll help control some of those weepers. I'm feeling some irritation, if I'm honest. I was a little aggressive. I was chatty today. And I didn't take my time. I'm feeling lots of hair here. So if I were Jimmy G searching the BBS, I'd probably do a cross grain shave down here. But because I'm a casual guy and I'll be back for a midnight shave on Friday, well, I'll just let it go. Midnight shave on Friday, guys. Midnight shave Friday, Eastern time. What do you guys want to see? Let me know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Terrible football. Remember the whole, uh, what was the guy's name? What was your quarterback's name? Johnny, uh, what was his name? Uh, you know it's a, it, you know it's a shame. Georgia was awesome, man. I have a video that I shot with Star, Star Loader. What's up? Straight Razor on Friday. Twig on Friday. Atra versus Sensor. Jimmy G, you get it, brother. Because I like that one. After cutting up my face today, I need a little protection in my life. No, I mean, it. there's a little irritation. But not bad. Feeling good, looking good, smelling good. But what I was saying is um, Georgia was great. I made a video. A couple of spots that I visited with the CMO, my daughter Peggy. And uh, I hope to post that maybe this weekend. I've been so busy during the day. But um, there's a place called the Beltline or the Beltway. I think it's the Beltline. It's a stretch of uh, roadway, walkway, that's used for bikes, dog walking, skateboards, um, people hanging out, restaurants, outdoor eateries, laughter, people watching, and the whole Thank you, man. I love you being here, brah. So that's coming up. I've got my body wash off videos coming up. And on Friday, it'll be the sensor versus Atra. Sensor versus Atra. Atra M3. Johnny Manziel. That's right. That damn Johnny Manziel. <sighs> Wayne Rowe. We have a lot of bad football cities in this group. Alex DeSouza. What's up, bro? Thank you. Well, guys, I'm going to cut it now. I, I, my neck is killing me. So I don't know if I have like a little whiplash. I was out shooting hoops the last couple of days. You were rooting for the Bills this year. I thought the Bills were going to take it this year. I did a video shoot in that old stadium. I don't know if it's still the, the same stadium, but right across from the stadium in uh, Buffalo or outside of Buffalo. Normalcy. More aftershave will kill the burn. Yeah, no, the burn's kind of subsided now. When's my brush coming out? Guys, I, I'm going to try to get it out real soon. The Seahaw Seahawks did do all right. Russell Wilson is my son. Did you guys know that? Russell Wilson is my son. The Buckeyes. Raymond James. Yeah, Allen Block. I've never had Allen Block or used it. Oh, no. Chris Nolan, 20 years at the top. Uh, no, you must be a damn Patriots fan. Son from another... Russell Wilson is my son. He's my son. 
He's a good looking boy, isn't he? Russell Wilson. No, Russell Wilson is. I, he's my favorite. I like Russell Wilson because he's he's my son. <laughs> Raymond James Stadium. Oh, Raymond James is Tampa. So what was the Buffalo Bills Stadium called? Have I seen the Gillette Sport Razor? No. I saw an ad about the, the Gillette 6. Does anybody, has anybody seen the Gillette G6 Safety Razor? You wish, you wish Russell would play for the Rams. I tell you what, guys, I'm a big basketball fan. And uh, this has been a fun season for me. I don't know about you guys. I'm really excited about this season. The Knicks are doing well, finally. They've got some really good young talent coming along. You know, it's been a dance of the 500. You know, they're up over 500, and then they're down two games under, two games over, 500. But um, I'm really excited about the playoffs this year. Do you guys, any of you guys NBA fans? And if you are, who do you root for? Highmark Stadium. All right. Well, I did a video shoot. Laker fan. Duality of man is a Laker fan. Oh, man. You must have really been hurting with the Kobe Bryant situation. That was sad, boy. That was a sad situation. I'm a big Kobe Bryant guy. Yep, they know how to butter their bread, Jimmy. Wayne Rowe is mad at LeBron James. Why are you mad at LeBron James? Because you think he should stay out of politics, right? Or is it because he left your city? I'm mad at LeBron James, too. I've been mad at LeBron James for years. For years. Bulls fan, Matt, they look pretty good. You know, they've got some young talent on the Bulls. I like teams that are coming. You know, like last year, Miami. I loved Miami last year. I loved Denver last year. I like seeing a young team come up. Too much yapping flops, yeah. But see, LeBron James is... He's a freak of nature. This is the one thing when Michael Jordan was the man. A lot of people didn't like Michael Jordan, but I used to say to people, watch this man because there's not going to be another one like him for a long, long time. LeBron James is a freak of nature. You shouldn't be that big and, and be that fast and that agile. It just it doesn't compute. So I understand the politics and the flopping and the complaining, and the, but this is, he's something special, man. It's like, he's like Shaquille O'Neal that kept working out. Because Shaquille, you couldn't stop Shaquille O'Neal. And you really can't stop LeBron James. If he has his mind on it, you prefer college basketball over NBA. A lot of people do. A LeBron James could have played in the NFL. That's right. He, In fact, he loved the NFL. He wanted to be in the NFL. But I think he looked at the money. So, Baylor, were you guys watching the, the, the March Madness and all happy for Baylor? Or, or did you think Gonzaga was going to take it? That was a good story right there. They were both undefeated early on. I'm more of an NBA fan, to be honest. I'm not a big college basketball fan. I, Wayne, I don't know, man. I think he could. I think LeBron James is. Believe me, I don't. I don't think anybody could stop him. Any era, if he has his mind on it. 
this whole era, you know, that era, this era, it's hard. It's, it's difficult to, I think if they all got together, it would be interesting to see. P. Procter & Gamble bought Gillette. Yep. Uh, everybody thought Gonzaga was going to take it. I didn't watch one minute of March Madness to this year, guys. I just don't have the time. But I've been getting into what I love, guys, is the NBA on YouTube. Because the next day, I can just go on to YouTube in the morning and I get a whole game in nine minutes. All the highlights. I don't check the scores, so I'll like I'll look, I'll die with the Knicks every morning on YouTube. Sometimes they surprise me, but it's cool. I like that. Star Loader. I'm in uh, marketing, and in fact, one of my um, one of my major primary skill sets is in video, so this is not a stretch for me. But all day I'm communicating about people's products. The '90s Knicks were awesome. The John Starks era. The Patrick Ewan, the Charles Oakley, Ren Ren what's up? But anyway, guys, I'm going way too long. I got to feed my belly, but I'm glad you guys were able to show up for this. Daniel Hannon was on time, which I love. We had, in summary, the King C. Gillette double-edged razor against the Gillette Heritage razor, double-edged as well. Very similar heads. I prefer the weight and the length of this razor more. Even the component, even the head is more weighty than this. This is really, to me, this is like a collector's piece that you shave with once, you put it back in the box and you leave it in it. You leave it there. It's very nice to have. All right. I'm going with the, the DE. So this is average guy tested and approved. They're both average guy tested and approved. Get yourself, do yourself a favor, get yourself some Planet Kind. Their products are really cool, guys. They have a face wash. They have the lather, which is awesome. They also have a, a, a face moisturizer, which is an aftershave that I didn't buy and I need to buy. But great products. Again, I'll leave the products I feature here in the description box below. Duality, you're awesome too, bruh. And I'm going to close it out. Woo! With a little dance. I love the ratio in the room. We got 29 people here and 30 likes. I want to thank you all for that. And I'll see you guys again. Atra versus Sensor. On Friday night, midnight shave. Jimmy G, take it back. Jimmy, Jimmy, what am I shaving with, Jimmy? Should I do some Taylor of Old Bond Street? Or should I just do Gillette Foam Mousse? Woo! All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys on Friday. You guys have a good time. Ciao. See ya. Be good.